Welcome in everyone, I'm the Apex Hound and today we're getting a first look at extended gameplay for EA Sports PGA Tour. We're joined by Ben Ramsauer. Uh, tell us what you do for the game, Ben. Welcome in. Hey Apex, yeah, Ben Ramsauer. I'm a producer on the team. I work really closely with all of our licensing partners and courses um, and then uh, work directly with our art team and our gameplay team to uh, make these courses and, and our licensed pros and all the gear look amazing in the game, feel amazing in the game. Uh, excited for people to get their eyes on the game for the first time. Awesome. So we're going to do uh, nine holes at Pebble Beach and nine holes at Sawgrass. And uh, what kind of difficulty are we going to be playing on? What kind of modes are we going to be doing? Uh, yeah, well, let's uh, mess around with the online head-to-head. -head. Uh, we'll start out uh, kind of on the, the simple pro settings uh, uh, so we can get used to it uh, as your, you know, your first chance in here to play the game. And then we'll crank it up for the back nine potentially. All right. Sounds good. Let's get into it. So I love this little new view that you guys have where you're kind of watching your uh, your guy look out upon the horizon. What was the thinking behind that when you were? Yeah, it's kind of the, the, the caddy state is what we call that. Um, you know, we were at a tournament recently and, and I could hear a caddy talking. He was in the rough and it's like, man, I, I'm not sure if I have a flyer lie or not. I got a little <laughs> bit of wind off me, so I think I want to hit a knockdown eight but a nine might get me closer. And so like when we're in this state and you can see what their different shot types, um, you know, we want users to be making decisions like the pros do. And while you're in that mode, you know, it's, it's kind of showing that perspective of what it's like of standing on hole one there and you've got the beauty and the trees around you. So it's kind of a combination of, of making you feel like you're a pro, making the decisions that they do in real life, but also kind of immersing you in the, uh, the beauty of these places. Awesome. All right, see if we can get a birdie here on the first hole. Come on, Jordan. Oh, I might hole it on the first hole. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> what a shot. All right, someday. That's now. how we start. That's how we start. Jordan yeah. loves it. Let's see if you can match that one. Yeah, you know, the ball's a little below my feet, so I got to play it out to the left because in real life, oh, no, didn't get enough club on it. And I played the finesse shot, which has a lot of spin on it. Oh man, that was not good. Ooh, ooh! I take an early lead here. Yeah. Okay. I noticed as well while I was playing there that there's a there's a clock up the top right. Is that just a, a shot clock, like you're being timed on each shot, or is it? Yeah, yeah. Play? So in our online modes, just to keep things moving, um, you know, we we have a time limit based on uh, the different holes that you're playing. Oh man, I might, okay. I might actually hit it here. <laughs> and is that based on each shot or is it for the hole? For it's the for hole? the entire hole, right? So you get okay. a little bit more time on par fives, um, you know, less time on par threes. I hammered that thing. Ugh. Oof! Wasn't far away though. Yeah. Right. Should be a clean up par for you there on the first. You're going to stay within touching distance. I think I'm going to start to run away with it now once we get to the... Uh, uh, yeah, man, if you keep hitting shots like that on hole one, I'll have to crank up. <laughs> crank up the settings, get us on the harder modes. Definitely. I can't wait. All right, so we have the option of a power drive here as well. That's just basically 110%ing it. Yeah, exactly. So you can see kind of the circle, um, it, you know, the dispersion when you're swinging harder just in, like, in real life. Uh, you know, it's... Uh, if you get after it, you're going to have a um, larger margin of error. error. Uh, yep. But of course, the reward here on a par five, right? If you catch it good, you're, you're further down there and have a closer approach shot in. So it's kind of the classic risk reward that, that golfers are thinking about. Yes, my risk did not pay off because I am in the rough. Yeah, and I took it a bit more conservative. Um, so for me, on my second shot here, I got 10 feet up the hill, but the wind's helping a little bit. So. Um, I noticed I have a hack shot here as well when I'm in the rough. Is that? Yeah, that's that's an important one to have. So like as we've gone to these different courses, uh, like we we're playing Bay Hill for example, and I was on 18 and I pulled out a four iron. I was going to go over the water, uh, and the our caddy's like, no way, man. Like take your medicine. You're not going to be able to get more than an eight iron on that thing. Um, otherwise, it's not going to go anywhere. And then, actually, Rory had a shot this year on, on 15 at Bay Hill. That was exactly what we'd seen. So we've tuned the okay. roughs on the different courses to um, kind of mimic what you'd experience, uh, mimic flyer lies, um, you know, that really thick 
stuff, you know, in real life, you're not gonna be able to get a three wood or anything lower, you know, you have to take a short iron. So um, yeah, again, just, oh, nice putts. Oh. That was a bomb. Oh, that's a big fist pump from Jordan. Yeah. All right, eagle on the second. Did you eagle that one too? I did. Okay. Needed to. All right, this is a fun one. You can use the yeah, shot so this shaping. Yeah, kind of got to use the shot shaping, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So for me, I want to try to get it way down there. None of this finesse stuff on this shot. So how does the shot shaping affect the shots that you're hitting on top of, like, just hitting a draw? Like, how does it affect the way that it lands and stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, draw, just like real life, right? The, the f We've used TrackMan data for all of our pros to create the physics profiles for each of these shots. Um, so then on a drawing shot, like in real life, it'll it'll roll out more. Whereas on a fading shot, it'll, it'll, um, it won't roll out quite as much. Um, same for the different shot types. So like the the RPMs and the physics profile of like a stinger shot, we've taken data from you know all the top pros and aggregated it into kind of what the ideal um, you know physics rollout is for that. Awesome. But I'm hitting a finesse shot here. I'm guessing that's more of a kind of thread the needle, spin it back a little bit. Yeah, exactly. The There's more backspin on it. Um, whereas for me, I like the spinner shot. It's one of the um, bounce, bounce, check type of shots here. Okay. Um, so I feel like I have more control on it on these when I get it closer here. Ooh, nice um, shot. A little bit of adrenaline there. I, I nuked it, but. I love the way I can see your guy out there in the fairway while I'm on the green here. <laughs> I was afraid I was going to get hit there, but. That works. That's a hell of a start. Yeah, it's kind of cool because, oh, uh, you know, a big part of what we know motivates players is um, kind of earning that exclusive gear. So we'll drop stuff that's like, you know, one of a thousand that you can only get in some of these online tournaments. So then if I see your character out there um, rocking a fit that, you know, is super exclusive, I know that I have, I've got my work cut out for me. Um, so that's just another thing we wanted to, you know, show the players on the screen up to 16 of them when we're playing in these modes to um, Again, just allow users to keep having more agency with their characters. Oh Man sh short par four here. I got a lucky bounce Classic risk reward here going oh, after no. one. Oh, we're gonna be right next to each oh, other. Oh, no. Oh, oh I'm on the beach. Oh, man, you just hit the other side of that ridge You're oh. lit literally on the beach can I play it from down there? Oh, yeah. It's not out of bounds. Really? No, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Sorry. I went way down there. I was going to say. All right, point of entry. Oh, so you have a different couple of options with the drop shots. You can take previous shot, target, line, and point of entry. Okay, what would yeah. you recommend, recommend for me here? Well, I, it entry? looks like they're all the same because it's a red stake. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. I get you. Or I guess you could have gone okay. back and reteed it, but definitely wouldn't reteed. Got the stand in here? Yeah. And I noticed here that I have two different bunker shot types too. I have a pick and a blast. How do they work? Yeah, so the pick is one as you progress that you can unlock. Um, it's more where you take less sand and it's more of it'll check quicker. Um, okay, that's what I need, yeah. Yeah, a bit more accurate. Whereas the blast is kind of just your standard. Oh, oh Woof. that was really cool on my end because it, it came <laughs> right in, right in my Barely. line. Somebody's closer. All right, well, it's gonna be a par at least. It's a good par safe. Yeah. Take that. We have four, I'm at three, okay. Have ourselves a ball game. Yeah. Back in it, one shot back now. So as well, uh, when I'm hitting the shots, I'm noticing like fast overswing. How do they affect how the ball plays? Like how, do, how does that affect the shot? Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just like real golf, right? If you're... Um, if you're over swinging, right, you're going to get some more power, more hip turn like you get in real life. Um, but that obviously the margin of error is a little bit bigger. Um, and then, you know, under swing can be a bit more controlled. It, you know, ultimately the perfect shot, right, you're trying to hit that black tick at the top of the backswing. Um, I'm talking too much. I, I got to get my shot here. But um, <laughs> don't want to end up in the trees because I got a little bit of backwind. All right, here we go. All right. Um, I'm gonna chip this one in. Yeah, so it, it kind of balances out, right? So if, for on my end over here, I 
was a little bit slow on the backswing, but I overswung on the path forward. Um, okay. So it's all based on the speed that you're taking the club back and forward. And it's also, so we have different animations for all of, all of the pros. So like the actual time that it takes for me to swing back on Scotty, since he's got a really, really long backswing is, um, you know, it, it, it's different. So like if I'm playing in an alt shot mode that we have, like if I'm playing both as Scotty and say Nelly Corda, it's actually kind of difficult for me because they have, oh, okay. you have to kind of match up. So there's, oh. I think there'll be a lot of experimentation to find the actual swing animation that, that really sort of fits your style. Um, so we're looking forward to our users getting their hands on the game to kind of um, experiment with that as well. Awesome. And it gives you more personality. Like for me, like unlocking okay. the, the Scotty swing, like I, I just kind of love his style in general. It's just so unique and kind of all over the place, uh, but he hits it really far. Um, so for me, I, I like personally playing with him, but if you want to be a bit more in control, you can take, you know, kind of a Nelly Cordes style of swing. And will hitting it fast or slow, like, that will make it kind of go right or left, right? Is it randomized which way it goes, which direction it goes? Yeah, there's no random. So each player has a profile. Um, so, like, if I'm playing a Scotty, he's naturally kind of a little bit of a fade guy. Um, and so, and you can actually choose if you want to be draw biased or, or fade biased um, with your character as well. Um, but, yeah, there's no, no randomness on, like, on the actual swing mechanic or anything. It's just kind of based on your profile. Cool. Uh, I just hit the stinger there. I feel like that was the perfect shot type for this hole. Yeah, for sure. Especially if the wind's picking up off the Pacific Ocean there. Yeah. Uh, when you get into Late under wind, the wind. windier days. Yeah, so this one is up the hill. crazy up the hill, right? Uh -huh. um, so for me, I'm going to play finesse shot, so it goes a lot higher, so I make sure I get it over that. But I'm going to have to add a lot of club because uh, it just because how much up the hill it goes. I'm going to try a different approach. I'm going to go for a power approach to get it up there. That's an albatross. Go in. Oh. Take a, I'll take an eagle. Ooh, your one's running through. Yeah. That long iron, right? So it doesn't check quite as much. I didn't put any extra spin on it. You're in my line. All right. <laughs> That's an eagle, baby. Oh, boy. All right. I'm going to keep that lead for now. Okay, you need to get this up and down to tie the lead. Scotty Scheffler, is that a chip shot? I went with the pitch, yeah. Pitch so shot, it okay. rolls out a little bit. I had a lot okay. of green to work with there. Um, whereas if I was having to go up over a bunker or something like that, I would use uh, more of like a higher shot, like a flop shot. But I left myself... So the pitch and the chip would be the two main ones you'd use kind of around the green if you're running them in a little bit. Yeah, exactly. We also have a runner shot, so if you have a lot of okay. green to work with as well. So it really okay, runs cool. out. That's kind of like in real life if you're taking like a an eight iron instead of like a pitching wedge or something. If you have a lot of green, a lot more control. Awesome. So this is absolutely stunning. The seventh hole of Pebble Beach, one of the most famous holes in golf, and that is gloriously recreated there. Thank you. Yeah, it's power frostbite, right? We got sort of like the the reflections in the water and the wave technology. Um, you know, being able to utilize that engine and kind of the power of all the EA games that use it um, to create stuff like that. Yeah, we have never seen Pebble Beach like this in a golf game, that's for sure. Looks incredible. Get tight, get tight. Oh, I almost dunked it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I need to hold this putt to stay tied up then. I still haven't had an ace on this hole. We'll get there. Turn, turn. Yes. Oh my. Come on. Oh boy. What a putt. I needed that. <laughs> Tied up. Neck All right. Neck. So I noticed on the putting there as well, like uh, at the top, it says like fast 1.3 percent or something. Does that affect how the putt rolls out, or does that affect it in any way? Um. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Um. Let's talk about when we get to the next screen, because I don't want to hit it over the cliff like Jordan did when he was here last year in real life. <laughs> no worries. I'm not going to copy Jordan in real life. I'm going to hit an iron off that tee. Hey, Jordan. Smiling happy as Larry there. All right. Tough second shot. 
yeah, this is definitely a second shot hole. You know, we both laid up. Use kind of a, I used the four wood. So this so one down the down hill here, a lot. Would that be good for a shot like this, you think? Or is that more to get it under the wind? Sorry, what'd you say there? Would a, would a knockdown be a good type of shot here? Or would, is that more to keep it under the, the wind? Knockdown's more of keeping out of the wind shot. Okay. Um, so again, pebbles is, since the greens are so small, I like playing the finesse shot a lot on this course. It goes higher, try that. checks up a little bit quicker. Um, I have try the finesse. Yeah, I have too much club here. Oh, come on. Be good. Be good. Oof. Back down a little bit. Oh. Yeah, play the slope. Yeah, you can see the way that it, it like plays the slope super realistically there. That's something that I'm sure you guys worked on. You, you said you went out to a lot of the courses and, and mapped this stuff out yourselves, right? Yeah, yeah. So we, we work closely with the former geologist that works with ShotLink as well um, to go and scan these courses. So we use... Um, the absolute latest and greatest um, LiDAR scanner. It's uh, the one that we use. It's this crazy piece of equipment that's designed to find gold mines and oil reserves. Did you get it? Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, so the, the way the scanner works, we'll either put it on a helicopter and kind of go low flying. That's how we did Augusta. Or if it's in a high traffic area, we'll put it on an airplane or we'll, we can use drones as well. Um, and the, the, the level of detail that we can get in the data um, it's 30 times more dense than what we could even purchase from the government who does a lot of scanning of these courses. And so, um, yeah, I mean, the greens are absolutely just exactly like they are in the hills. You can see on this shot, um, you know, a mine in the fairway, like it caught the hill and really rolled down far. Um, mm -hmm. Whereas obviously you hit up in the rough there, so it, it didn't catch that. But we also tuned the the grass types, so the, the fairway, the way it reacts is different at, at Pebble than it is at Augusta versus St. Andrews. Um, so it's, it's hyper, hyper realistic. Um, you know, we had some caddies at Augusta playing the game recently and we turned off all the green grids. And they basically like coached us around and the best I've done without the green grid is 20 over. Um, and my colleague at Augusta that was playing is, is very similar to my skill. Um, and the caddies were saying, hey, hit it here, hit it here. And he shot even par, which is just absurd <laughs> without the green grid. Um, and the caddies walked out and they're like, oh man, this is absolutely perfect. You guys have nailed it. All right, guys, so me and Ben, were all tied up at seven under through nine at Pebble Beach, and we've decided to spice things up and go to the back nine at TPC Sawgrass to show off another one of the beautiful courses here in EA Sports PGA Tour. Ben is actually gonna switch it up and play as a created character, because it's a little bit unfair if he's gonna be playing as the player's champion here against us. So he's gonna fit his character to kind of suit the player's championship as well, which we're gonna go through now. Cool, yeah, so I'm gonna respec my character. So. Sawgrass is one of those courses where power is not quite as important, but driving accuracy is absolutely paramount. And right now my uh, creative character doesn't have any, so I'm going to respect my character a little bit here and um, cool down some of my distance to free up some um, skill points here to put it towards being more accurate so I'm not off into the rough there. Um, so you can see here I'm going to unlock these uh, special shot types as well um, to the gold level here, power drive. And power approach. Let's see, putting is also really important. Uh, so kind of a cool thing um, in our games here is each course profile is very different, right? So what works at Sawgrass doesn't necessarily um, work at Pebble or work at Augusta or St. Andrews. So. Uh, we expect a lot of experimentation uh, from players to try to figure out kind of the best archetype for their character um, and have fun exploring. So I want to get a little bit more accurate here. All right. And you can see I'm rocking some bad birdie swag and Jordan 12s for my character. So how, how different will the course play based on like tournament versus average and stuff like that will it make a big difference to how the course plays yeah absolutely you know the the speeds of the fairways will run out so a course like sawgrass here um you know i'm gonna have to play a lot more like draws or fade shots off of off the tee to try to get to, to stop a little bit quicker um you know you get yourself into the rough you know we have various um rough links so in tournament conditions it's as tough as you can get them Right, I pumped one down the middle with a three wood to start. 
Yeah. You can already tell like the coloring of the grass is different and stuff like that. Um, how did you go about making like each course so different? Yeah, I mean, we when we do our site visits, we actually do um, color charting as well, so that the actual hue of green that is on the green or in the rough that that are different, um, you know, it, it's based on exactly what you would see at those courses. So we have this pretty cool um, color chart that allows us to match up the shades of the sand and the, um, you know, the, the shades of the greens. You can kind of see the different, um, you, know, you know, hues of green that you get. Uh, even when we were at Augusta, uh, we got feedback on making sure we had the correct hues on the azaleas at the time of the event. We were there right after the event, but the, the greenskeepers looked at it and said, all right, it needs to be this shade of pink, and, and we updated it to make it right. Awesome. How'd you do there? I wasn't... You got a I, I made a birdie. All right. I put it real close and made a birdie, so you're going to have to match it here with this one. All right. Don't short side. Don't short. Oh, close. Right, go. Oh, he's made it. He's... Yeah, what's the differences now between playing? What's the difference between playing with Scotty Scheffler and playing with your created guy now? Uh, he definitely doesn't hit it as far. Um, <laughs> you know, it's it's. Uh, I'm gonna have to be. I'm gonna have longer shots in. So on a par five like here, uh, I don't have the the power drive. I don't think in my character. Yeah, I don't. So like, um, I'm gonna have to use kind of power boost as I'm swinging back here um, okay. to try to you know get more distance. But that obviously. Uh, the harder you swing, just like in real life, the margin for error is wider. So uh, I have a feeling you're going to be a lot longer than me this round, but hopefully uh, me being in the fairway a lot because I upgraded my accuracy attributes, um, you know, will help at least me stay out of the rough stuff. Might help me uh, being able to go for these par fives and two a little bit easier. Yeah, I mean, this is a, a tricky one because I'm so far back, like, I'm going to have to really get into a three wood here. So kind of the risk reward and in the front pen placement here. I might actually kind of want to try to hit this in the bunker because I I've unlocked. It's long. That is long, long, long. Oh wow, that went a country mile. Oh, I got lucky. Yeah, so those... I hit the slope and in the rough, and it kind of deadened the spend on that three wood. So should have a nice. little bit easier chip. But I don't have much green to work with here, so this is one where I'm going to play a flop shot. Um, Large margin of error, but hopefully won't roll out too much. And it seems like there's a lot of like difficulty options in EA Sports PGA Tour. Like, what are some new options on both the casual side of things and also the more ornament kind of uh, competitive side of things? The sim sim mode. Yeah, I mean, you can customize it to have the experience that you want. So, um, you know, it's it's easy enough to where like. When my son was four, ooh, you almost got me. When my son was four years old, when we were making this, he could pick it up and you know flick the stick and have some fun on the super easy modes where there's some helpers. Um, but for our hardcore fans, you know, you can turn off all of the UI helpers. Um, can really crank up the course conditions. Um, you know, it's it's super customizable, so you can kind of have the experience and set up the tournaments that you want to have with with your you know your hardcore friends. Um, you can make it really hard on tournament or simulation mode. You can even do, um, you know, the hardcore modes, but then add back some of the UI elements if you want it. So highly customizable to the experience that you want to have. Awesome. We, of course, you know, we wanted to, on, on kind of the arcade and the um, lower difficulties, we wanted to um, bring back some of the classic stuff, sort of like the post-shot spin. So when the ball's in the air, the big hit moments, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, power boost, that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, you can really have kind of any experience that you want to have in the game. Awesome. Okay, this is a risk-reward hole here, and I'm going to go for the risk. Will I get the reward? I'm going to hit a power drive. This is either going on the water or it's going to 10 foot. There's no in-between here. No risk it, no biscuit. <laughs> See, I don't oh, have the distance. you laid up. I guess you don't have that distance. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey! Oh, oh. oh. Oh man! I don't know how that stayed up. I'll take it. I'm gonna be in the water here, I think. Yeah, we'll help you out there a little bit. So, yeah. <laughs> thank God. I was wondering would I be able to hit that shot? Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, it's tough coming out of the rough there. So, you know, talking to these superintendents and for the hardcore golfers, you know, the grass gets stuck between the club and the ball and it takes away the effect of the, the grooves. So that's why you see shots from the rough will roll out a lot more in real life. And so kind of replicate that in the game as well um, with the f physics profile in each shot. I'm hearing a lot of like uh, little background noises, like ambient noises, like I can hear like almost like a hot air balloon or something like that, or an airplane and stuff like that. Is that something that you guys like did based off on what's happening around the course in real life? Yeah, absolutely. We did. Uh, we got a bunch of um, sound from our partners at the PJ Tour, um, you know, of real events. So we were able to cut excerpts of that sound to put it in the game. Um, you also hear things that are natural to where you are in the. Um, different parts of the country and um, like the lighting of the game as well, like where we place the sun, um, you know, it's realistic to where you are in real life. So, um, you know, the position of the sun in Pebble Beach is completely different than Sawgrass. So you can see it's probably a little bit brighter here um, since we're a little bit south. Um, whereas if you're all the way up at St. Andrews, right, the sun's in a different spot. And we have three different times of day in the game, so you can kind of see um, what sawgrass looks like in the morning versus the evening um, as well. So again, just trying to go to the nitty gritty details to make each course um, just like it is in real life, right? From the way, it, um, the coloring, the lighting, the sounds, uh, the, the way the balls perform out of the rough um, versus the fairway uh, versus the different sand types even. Uh, you know, Kiowa's got completely different sand than, than sawgrass has in the ball. Um, responds differently out of those different sand types. I need that one. Yes. Man, I did That's not a big leave birdie. myself an easy putt here. <laughs> oh, I got a clutch one. All right. I tied it up. You need this to take the lead again. That's not going to be easy. Come on. I baby. love the purple Come line on, I'm seeing on the ball. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh, good, good roll. Oh. Good roll. Can't say no to that. All right, I've tied it up. All right. We're inseparable at the moment. Tied at Pebble, and now we're tied at Sawgrass. It's gonna come down to the to the wire, I reckon. Down to the the last three iconic holes here at Sawgrass. Another narrow fairway here. You going power drive, or you you doing regular? Oh, I think I'm gonna try regular because I'm gonna I'm struggling with the power drives there on the last couple, so I'm gonna hit a regular drive. A little bit more forgiving, I think. Yeah. See, so this hole, I like to keep it on the right side so I have a better angle in. Uh, yours is oh. good, although it's in the rough. Um, I slipped about one inch into the rough there. That was just unfortunate. But it makes it a little difficulty because of the way that we scan the terrain, right? It's, it's accurate to real life, and, and the architect wanted to make it difficult, right, to mm -hmm. get in that ideal position on the right side. This is a tough shot in for me because I'm using such a long iron. So it's really going to And is the rough out. shot for me going to be like run out a lot more too? Yep, yep. I'll have to play for a flyer almost. That's one thing I, I love about how our physics engineers have tuned this game where it's like in the old days you could sort of target practice whereas this one, oh. You ho do you ho? Oh, I, I, <laughs> oh man. Um I just saw out of the corner of my eye. Yeah. Um this, you know, with a long iron, it's going to roll out in real life, so it's not going to bounce and check up. And that's where the shot types come in as well, right? As you get in closer, I love the spinner shot type, right? Because I know it's going to go doink, doink, check. Um, I got you, yeah. um, so I have a lot more control over it. Uh, but kind of those long irons, you got to kind of play to the front of the green like the pros do and, and anticipate how it's going to roll out. All right, that was a good up and down for a par. I'll stay within touching distance, heading to, uh, heading to 15. Oh, this is an intimidating shot, huh, with all that water? It is. But at least I know I'm bombing it about 150 yards past that. Yeah, it's interesting we played this one in real life. Like, we were obviously not playing the pro tees, um, mm -hmm. but... I just hit what I thought was a perfect drive with driver, and it rolled out into that water across the cart path there. Oh, okay. And it's one of the, that's what makes Sawgrass unique, is it's not just like grip it and rip it. You gotta be really smart with the decisions that you're making on each shot. 
um, and you know we've replicated that in the game as well. Yeah, there's water all over the place at Sawgrass. It feels like. Yeah, I think it's on 14 of the holes is the stat that I heard. Wow. All right, a little slow, a little underswing, but that could work, I think. Yeah, you got kind of that gnarly runoff to the left. You. Yes. Oh, good shot. All right, match that one. Bites. A little long. All right, I might be able to tie it up here. Okay. We'll take that. I'm here in the uh, the bottom of the cup coming out of the PlayStation 5 controller as well. Yeah, there you go. This is dope. All right. All right. To take the lead once again. Turn. Can he do it? Turn. Ozzy! Oh, let's go! Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> Damn it. Ah! All right. All it's right. serious now. It's the last three holes at Pebble. Here we go. I'm going to use uh, distance to my advantage here now. Jordan Speed's going to bomb one 300 plus. Yeah. You're going to be struggling a little bit. I'm going to I'm gonna draw it so it rolls out. I'm going to put some boost on it. Well, that's good. Come on, Jordan. Oh, I left it right. Get lucky. Get through. No, it hit a branch. I heard a cracking noise when it hit that branch, but that's still pretty good. Yeah, we did another sound effects shoot as well with like different clubs and um, you know, we, we joked how our audio director is a, a scratch golfer. Um, so I suggested maybe we send somebody else that's more of a hacker. Maybe we could have had you come <laughs> up there and, and record some, some of the bad hit miss hits. All right, this is an important hole here. Come on, Speed. Oh, that's good. Sit down. Oh, yes. Keep going. Don't sit down. <laughs> All right, that's bite, perfect. Bite, 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 bite. Uh, sit. Oh, what? No. Oh, wet? I got lucky by the wall. No. <laughs> I see your ball. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Let's see if I can make the eagle putt, though. Put some pressure on. It'd be massive. I'm gonna go Texas wedge. I'm just off the green here. Foot down the hill. That's always a handy option to have. Oh my gosh, this breaks like four different oh, ways. Oh, we're done. Turn back. Oh, damn it! <sighs> Sorry. This might be the 17. first quadruple breaker I think I've ever hit. I'll take that. You didn't do too bad. That's pretty straight from there, I think. You should have a good chance of taking the lead again. Let's see. All right. Should be straight. Retake in. the lead. He was clutch last time. Can he do it again? Uh, All hold right. It. All right. You're clutching up in the big moments here, but this is the real one. Are you going to put the tee shot in the water here? An alligator there. Love that. You know, funny story. I, I suggested that we take the alligators out since you don't normally see them during the tournament. And our partners from the PGA Tour are like, uh, nope. Yep. We see the gators there. Leave them in. <laughs> awesome. So when we played this in real life, um, it's the closest I've ever come to a hole in one. It was really? Sunday pin, pin placement just like this. I feel like I've hit this shot a thousand times in video games over the year. So I just felt so comfortable. There was no wind. And uh, yeah, my divot Sit was... down! Oh, you got to play the slope there, buddy. I know. I was too far. Uh, oh my god, you're a foot away. This could be over. 18, though, I need to man. hold this. It's, uh, it's going to come down that drive. 18 is scary, yeah. <laughs> right, I got to hold this, though. Pressure on. All right. You made birdie. Come on. Time. How much is this going to break? Because it's breaking a lot down towards the water. I feel like when it's downhill, it breaks a little bit more. Give me that one. Oh, we got the adrenaline. Oh. Hey, you didn't leave it short, though. A little uphill. I have to go for it a little bit. All yeah. right. Two shot lead, one to play. If I make this. Ain't no gimme. There okay. you go. All right. One more good. Yeah, if I'm tournament pro conditions right now, I'm definitely make it harder. One more good shot, and this is the hardest shot to get in the fairway. 
I gotta watch your tee shot first. All right, I'm taking three wood. No, I'm not. There's no way. <laughs> it's on. a video game. Here we go. Hopefully, I don't end up in the trees like Hatton was. Thank you. Oh. That looks good. Leaning a little. All right. I need to come up with something special in. Uh, under swing. Under That's swing. good though. Take that. I'm still way past you. Yeah. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One more shot. More full shot, at least. I'll wait and see what you do first. I'm away. Play to the middle. Got hit a cardinal flying over there. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. That's not. Oh, uh, that's, that's three putt chicken. territory. A little chicken. That's three putt territory. I'm going to have to put this close and put the pressure on. Okay, come on, Jordan. How's your moment? Be good. Be good. Be good. Oh. Oh, a little too much spin. That's all right. right. That's you a got chance, an though. uphill putt. Got a chance for the birdie. I'm away, so here we go. Texas wedge. Got some pace. Mm. It's real good. It's mm. real good. All right. That's good. Great shot. Thank you. All right. Let's see if I can uh, at least not make it too sour with a, with a birdie here. Oh, it didn't turn. No, keep turning. Uh, that's good. Far on the last. All right, I'm going to keep practicing. I'll get there. I have to have a rematch For at some point. For the win. For the win. Here we go. I'll tap it in and let you. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> Should have worn a hat. That was fun. You Great are game, a man. formidable foe, my friend. Hopefully, the viewers got a good uh, viewing experience of the game as well. And uh, can you let us know when we're going to get our hands on it? Yeah, excited to get it out early access on April 4th and then a worldwide launch on April 7th. Awesome. Well, I'm the Apex Hound. You can find me on YouTube or Twitter at the Apex Hound. Uh, it's been a pleasure, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you next time.